The SSPSF model of star formation was proposed by Mueller and Arnett in 1976, generalized afterward by Gerolat and Seiden in 1978 and Gerolat, Seiden, and Schulman in 1980. This model proposes that star formation propagates via the action of shock waves produced by stellar winds and supernovae traversing the gas that composes the interstellar medium. The Henus 206 nebula provides a clear example. In particular, 24 mu infrared emission shows where a new generation of stars heats the remains of the supernova remnant that induce their formation. In contrast to star formation and density wave theories, which are limited to disc-shaped galaxies and produce global spiral patterns. SSPSF applies equally well to spirals, to irregular galaxies and to any local concentrations of gas in elliptical galaxies. The effect may be envisioned as an SIR infection model in a differentially rotating disk, the host galaxy. The SIR model is applied to star formation propagating through the galaxy. Each generation of stars in a neighborhood includes some massive ones whose stellar winds and soon supernovae produce shock waves in the gas. These lead to collapsing nearby gas clouds, which produce the next generation of stars, but in the immediate neighborhood. All initially available gas is used, so no further stars are born there for some period of time despite the shocks. SSPSF simulation in a non-flattened galaxy, the infection would produce an outward propagating sphere. In a non-rotating flattened environment, the infection would produce an outward propagating ring. But in a differentially rotating flattened environment, I. E. With mass closer to the galactic center orbiting the center somewhat more quickly, the ring is sheared into an ellipse, the innermost parts moving ahead of the ring's center and the outermost parts lagging. For disk galaxies, virtually all star formation occurs in the disk. In that case, the elongated rings are likewise confined to the disk, and collectively they evolve to appear as segments of spiral arms, CNGC 4414, as well as figures in. In 1999, the prevailing density wave model for the generation of spiral arms in galaxies was combined with SSPSF in a doctoral thesis by Auer. Our concluded that density waves are in fact less effective in producing star formation, and more effective in simply organizing ongoing SSPSF into large-scale patterns, ultimately into the grand design spiral form if conditions allow. In the figure you can see a simulation of a simple model for SSPSF on a circular grid. It is generated by randomly starting star formation in certain boxes of the grid, which propagates to nearby boxes in the grid while time progresses. Star formation dies out with time and a box has a certain regeneration time which prevents it from starting new star formation just after it was active. Adding rotation to the disk during propagation creates spiral patterns that are of the same nature of those in actual spiral galaxies. Dark spots are areas of active star formation, Lighter spots are areas of recent star formation slash areas in regeneration. SSPSF processes were demonstrated in an early prototype of the 2008 video game Spore. Thanks for watching.